But before we delve into the announcement, it's crucial to understand what particle accelerators are. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, operated by CERN, is a 17M ring of superconducting magnets and the globe's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. It epitomizes the peak of human scientific achievement. In fact, it's so potent that it can recreate the very conditions of the universe's inception. But could this apparatus, designed to unlock the secrets of the cosmos, hold the key to something far more ominous? CERN, established in 1954, is one of the world's most prestigious research institutions. With 23 member states and thousands of scientists, it's a hub for collaboration and innovation. The LHC is CERN's flagship project, but it's just one part of an extensive network of accelerators and experiments. Imagine a racetrack, but not for cars or horses. This track is for subatomic particles, a race against time and space itself. The LHC accelerates protons to nearly the speed of light, sending them on a collision course that mimics the energy of the universe at the time of the Big Bang. The collisions create temperatures a million times hotter than the core of the sun. Thousands of magnets guide the protons on their journey, while intricate cooling systems maintain the magnets at temperatures colder than outer space. The beams inside the LHC are made to collide at four locations around the accelerator ring, corresponding to the positions of four particle detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each serves a unique purpose, exploring different facets of particle physics. Together, they act as colossal cameras, capturing snapshots of these collisions. Scientists then sift through the debris, looking for signs of the elusive Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, and other phenomena, clues to the universe's fundamental building blocks. By studying the microcosm, we gain insights into the macrocosm. But with every answer comes a new question, and with every discovery, a new challenge. The LHC is not just a scientific instrument. It's a testament to human curiosity and innovation. It embodies our relentless pursuit of knowledge and our desire to understand the fundamental forces that shape our universe. But as we push the boundaries of what we know, we must also consider the ethical and existential questions that arise. In the esteemed halls of CERN, where the boundaries of human understanding are constantly pushed, a revelation has emerged that sends a shiver down the spine of even the most seasoned scientists. Brian Cox, a former researcher at CERN and a voice of authority in the world of particle physics, has recently made an announcement that has left the world both fascinated and fearful. Cox's words resonate with haunting clarity. The goal of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to recreate a mini Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right a miniature version of the very event that gave birth to our universe. The physicist also went on to explain the implications of this goal, highlighting the LHC's extraordinary potential for making new discoveries. This includes its ability to unlock the secrets of the Higgs boson and the exploration of dark matter, a mysterious substance that constitutes a significant portion of the universe. Imagine holding the power of creation in your hands, the ability to conjure the very essence of the universe. It's a tantalizing prospect, but one fraught with danger. The mini Big Bang is not just a theoretical concept. It's a tangible reality within the LHC. The temperatures, the pressures, the raw energy all mimic the conditions of the universe's infancy. It's like standing at the dawn of time, witnessing the birth of existence itself. But with such power comes responsibility, and the question looms large. What if something goes wrong? In fact, something did go terribly wrong back in 1978. The Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky experienced a disaster that would forever alter the course of his life. Bugorsky was working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Pratvino, Russia. A malfunction led to his head accidentally coming into the direct path of a proton beam, a beam with a force that defies comprehension. The aftermath was both horrifying and fascinating. The beam's path caused localized tissue death, leading to the loss of hearing in one ear and partial facial paralysis. Yet, astonishingly, Bugorsky's intellectual capabilities remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. This incident is not just a personal tragedy, but a cautionary tale that underscores the immense power and potential danger of particle accelerators. The risks of a particle accelerator like the LHC are not to be taken lightly. 
the potential for unforeseen reactions, the manipulation of the very fabric of space and time, these are not the stuff of science fiction but real concerns voiced by some in the scientific community. One of the most alarming concerns associated with the LHC's experiments is the possibility of creating a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. They are cosmic vacuum cleaners, the devourers of stars, enigmatic entities that lurk in the shadows of our universe. The idea that the LHC could create such an entity even on a microscopic scale, is shocking for the general public and experts alike. Could this black hole grow uncontrollably, swallowing the Earth from within? Though scientists at CERN have assured that any black hole created would be unstable and evaporate almost instantly, the mere possibility has ignited debates, fears, and a sense of awe at the power we wield. It's important to understand how the LHC could create a black hole. When protons are smashed together at nearly the speed of light, the energy released is so immense that it warps the fabric of spacetime itself. Imagine a trampoline stretched taut and then a heavy weight dropped onto it. The fabric bends, curves, and if the weight is heavy enough, it could create a depression so deep that anything nearby would be drawn into it. In the realm of quantum physics, where the rules of the universe are both bizarre and beautiful, there exists a theory that extra dimensions may be hidden within our reality. If these dimensions exist, the LHC's collisions could tap into them, creating a gravitational funnel that forms a microscopic black hole. This enigmatic dance of particles has even caught the attention of some world-famous scientists, particularly the late Stephen Hawking. In his book, he warned of a scenario where the Higgs boson could become unstable at very high energy levels. This instability could lead to a catastrophic vacuum decay, a cosmic event that would not only destroy the Earth but the entire universe itself. The esteemed British cosmologist and astrophysicist Sir Martin Rees also expressed his concerns about the experiments conducted at CERN. In his book on the future, Prospects for Humanity, he explored the potential risks associated with particle accelerator experiments, including those at CERN. His words were not merely cautionary. They were tinged with a sense of existential dread. Rees spoke of a worst-case scenario where an ill-fated experiment could create a condition called vacuum instability. This instability could, in theory, trigger a phase transition that would ripple through the very fabric of space-time. The result? A cosmic catastrophe that could engulf the entire universe. Rees's concerns were not limited to theoretical musings. He assigned a probability to these catastrophic outcomes albeit a low one, but even a minuscule chance, he argued, should give us pause. The stakes are unimaginably high, and the margin for error is razor thin. The scientists at CERN have calculated the probabilities, run the simulations, and examined the theories to argue for the safety of the LHC. In fact, Brian Cox himself acknowledged the importance of responsible exploration, recognizing that there are widespread fears and concerns surrounding the activity of the LHC. But he emphasized that there are rigorous safety measures in place, extensive reviews and protocols that ensure the LHC's operations are conducted with the utmost care. Cox reassured that the energies involved are well within what the Earth naturally encounters and the chances of creating a stable black hole are astronomically low. Even if one were created, Scientists say it would be so tiny and so unstable that it would evaporate in a flash of energy, a phenomenon predicted by Stephen Hawking known as Hawking radiation. It would be a fleeting moment of cosmic wonder, a glimpse into the abyss, and then gone. Some have gone further, speculating that the LHC's experiments could open a portal to another universe or dimension. This notion, though largely dismissed by the scientific community, has captured the imagination of many and has become a subject of fascination, fear, and even folklore. What lies beyond our reality? Could we inadvertently unleash forces or entities that we do not understand? The idea of opening a portal to hell has even been sensationalized in various media, adding fuel to the fire of uncertainty. But how did this idea come to be, and what does it mean in the context of scientific exploration? The concept of parallel dimensions is not new in physics. String theory, a leading candidate for a unified theory of everything, posits that there may be more than the familiar three dimensions of space and one of time. These extra dimensions could be compactified or hidden from our perception, 
but they could theoretically be accessed or revealed under extreme conditions. Now, imagine the LHC as a cosmic key, unlocking doors that have been sealed since the dawn of time. When protons collide, energies never before achieved on Earth could, in theory, create ripples or tears in the fabric of space-time. These tears might open pathways to dimensions beyond our own, like cracks in a cosmic wall that separates us from the unknown. The consequences would be similar to if you were to drop a stone into a perfectly serene lake. The impact creates ripples, waves that spread out, interacting with everything they touch. In the context of the LHC, those ripples could be disturbances in the dimensions themselves, waves that spread out into realms we cannot see or comprehend. Scientists at CERN are quick to point out that these theories, while fascinating, are speculative. The energies involved in the LHC's collisions, though immense by human standards, are still minuscule compared to the forces at play in the broader universe. Cosmic rays, particles from outer space, bombard the Earth with higher energies every day without tearing holes in reality. This is an important point, but it doesn't completely dispel the fears. It's in our nature to explore the unknown, to push the boundaries of what we know and venture into uncharted territories. The LHC represents the pinnacle of this endeavor, a beacon of human ingenuity and curiosity. But with every step into the unknown, there is risk, and with every discovery, a responsibility to understand and mitigate that risk. The questions surrounding the LHC and its potential dangers are a testament to the power of science to both inspire awe and provoke caution. They remind us that our pursuit of knowledge must be balanced with a respect for the unknown and a commitment to the safety and well-being of our world. As we stand on the precipice of discovery, we must also heed the lessons of the past and the warnings of those who have dared to imagine the consequences of our actions. The future is a delicate balance between the promise of knowledge and the shadow of uncertainty. So, what if CERN's quest for knowledge leads us down a dark path? The prospect is both thrilling and terrifying. The mysteries of the universe beckon, but they also remind us of our small place within it. As we push the boundaries of our understanding, we must also grapple with the ethical and existential implications. The LHC's mission to recreate a mini Big Bang is a testament to our insatiable curiosity, but it's also a reminder of the responsibility that comes with wielding such power. What happens if we go too far? Could our thirst for knowledge lead to our own destruction? These questions linger in the air, unanswered and unsettling. But they also fuel the relentless drive to explore, to understand, and to uncover the secrets of the cosmos. In the end, it's a delicate dance between curiosity and caution, between discovery and destruction. And as we continue to explore the boundaries of our universe, we must always remember the lessons of the past and the potential consequences of our actions. The future of CERN and the LHC holds both promise and peril and only time will tell which path we will ultimately take. Regardless of the outcome, the journey of scientific discovery is an ongoing testament to humanity's boundless curiosity and unyielding determination. As we continue to probe the mysteries of the universe, let us remain vigilant, thoughtful, and respectful of the immense power we wield. After all, in our quest for knowledge, we must ensure that we do not lose sight of the world we seek to understand.